Hey everyone, Carl back with Literate Lessons bringing you a deep dive featuring Mind Xiao. Uh, Mind Xiao is a Pokemon I don't know too terribly much about. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know it was a Pokemon until Sword and Shield. I did not play a lot of the Gen 5, 4, and 5 era stuff. So a lot of these Pokemon are new to me and I haven't really seen them before. Um, but if you like what you hear, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications for when new videos go live. It helps us out a ton. We're up to almost 275 uh really would love to hit that by the end of august and uh let's just get right into mind shout because there's a lot to cover here so mind shout is a fighting type pokemon from if i remember correctly it is from gen 5 um which makes for a natural support i would like to call it uh it is very fast it can hit like a truck when it wants to if you invest enough attack into it but a lot of what it does is it just answers Intimidators very, very well with its ability Inner Focus. It got a real big buff going into Series 8 to where Inner Focus ignores Intimidate. So it becomes it's become one of the best natural answers to Incineroar, which wants to Intimidate and Fake Out. Um, which Incineroar being the most probably the most played Pokemon in early Series 10. Uh, this means that Mind Shell is going to probably run rampant as probably one of the best Incineroar counters in the format. Um, it also notably gets access to Wide Guard, which is a really good which is a really good move when everyone's trying to do spread damage moves instead of Dynamaxing. Um, and it's also got a real good speed stat. Uh, if I remember correctly, max speed is 178, which is insane. Uh, you could throw Scarf on it, get to 258, and uh, you outspeed most of the format outside of Regilecki, which we'll get to a Scarf set once we get to uh, move sets. But uh, Mind Shell is set up to be a really good support Pokemon. Introduced in the Isla armor, uh, it never really made an impact because it just wasn't much of a good support because Wide Guard and the tools it offered weren't as needed in those in the Series Five format. Uh, however, once we got to Series Eight, we started to see Mind Shell kind of rear up and be a good support Pokemon with Wide Guard Fake Out. Uh, close combat coaching was introduced in Isle of Armor as well, which Mind Shell got access to, so you have access to very fast coaching. Uh, fake Out is super prominent, so you don't have to ever worry about getting Fake Out now with Inner Focus. Um, and it kind of did stick around for Series 9 after its Series 8 debut, um, but it didn't make as big an impact like it had in Series 8 or as it is in Series 10. Being a more supportive Pokemon, Mind Shell is more of a jack of all trades fits into every team situation uh common partners tend to be the restricted pokemon that incineroar beats uh things like calyrex shadow and zacian and ho-oh um ho-oh being weak to intimidate zacian being weak to fire and intimidate and cali shadow being weak to dark um so all of these pokemon tend to like mind a lot just because mind runs in hits close combat or fake out or coaching and just runs over games with the with all of its utility. Looking at the metagame breakdown for Mind Shell, as we can see here, close combat, fake out, wide guard, super popular common moves on it, um, really powerful moves in Series 10, uh, close combat being the best fighting stab for Mind Shell. Um, you usually carry a focus sash, so you don't care about the stat drops too terribly much, or you're usually switching in and out a lot trying to get multiple fake outs in a game. Uh, looking down the rest of this list, there's Faint, Taunt, Knockoff, Quick Guard, Rock Slide, Helping Hand, Coaching, U-Turn, and Protect. Uh, I want to stop a minute and talk about Knockoff. Uh, you have a very fast Knockoff. Um, knockoff isn't super duper common anymore, so it is very powerful right now, especially like into an opposing Calyrex Shadow, where you just eat the hit because you're Focus Sash, and then you hit that Knockoff and take it out. Uh, when we get to the Scarf set, you get to outspeed Cali Shadow, and you can slap that knockoff onto it and take it out probably in one turn. Um, another move that's really popular, in my opinion, is Coaching. Coaching is very underutilized in Series 10 right now, just because there's a lot of special attackers and the defense boost doesn't mean as much. However, on Pokemon like Zacian that get Intimidate cycled super easily, being able to just click Coaching and remove that Intimidate debuff or put you back to plus one or whatever you were at is really, really powerful. Looking at common items, like I mentioned, Focus Sash is the most common item. I would be surprised to see anything else, really. Uh, I have a Scarf set, like I mentioned, coming up, and then I have a Safety Goggle set as well coming up, um, which they're not the greatest sets in the world, but when we get to them, it'll make a little bit more sense. As support, Mind Shell doesn't require a lot to build around, so it's really fun and kind of just 
fits in really well as for the tools that it has. If you need fake out, Mineshaw's got you. If you need wide guard and you can't fit it in somewhere, Mineshaw has your back there too. Uh, need fighting coverage, close combat. Need dark coverage, knock off, bug coverage, U turn. Um, I think it's acrobatics too. So after a focus sash, you can acrobatics into something and just maybe trade for a KO. Um, being a very fast fake out user, it can also just be used to counter opposing fake out. Not only is it's like inner focus a good deterrent, you also just are the faster fake out, so you can fake out the fake out user before that fake out user would get your mind shell's partner. If that makes sense. Um, and then Y Guard and Faint are also decent tools in this format as well, especially since Protect is super duper popular. Um, it's a very powerful tool, so having Faint means that you just get, you get to be Urshifu for a turn. Your Restricted can be Urshifu. Your very powerful side partner can also be an Urshifu and things like that. Looking at these sets, all of Mindshell's sets tend to be fast and frail. But because of its cool support move sets, there's a lot of different ways to build it. Um, this first set is super duper common, coaching, close combat, fake out, wide guard, max speed, jolly nature with a focus ash, super standard, super common. Wouldn't be surprised if it, this is not the most common set moving into the start of series 10. But there's a whole lot of other things you can do with Mind Shell. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the choice scarf set gets to like 258 speed after scarf boost. So you can do fast coaching or you can do fast rock slide for those uh, Volcarona and Incineroar that are causing problems. You can do fast knockoff for the opposing Kali Shadows that can cause problems for you. Or you have the option to just U-turn off of an opposing Rillaboom and getting out of there because Fake Out's not going to mean anything to you. Um, this last set here is more of a deterrent set. We still have close combat and fake out, but we also have detect to protect ourselves since we don't have focus ash to take a hit. And we get to carry taunt to kind of just stop other team shenanigans. Uh, things like beating up Trick Room and stuff like that, uh, opposing Tornadus, uh, thing, other things like that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the Choice Scarf set gets to 258, so you outspeed almost everything except Regieleki. Uh, that is the unfortunate thing, is you cannot outspeed Regieleki with Scarf, which most Pokemon can't, so just things to think about there. Beating up Mineshaw is fairly easy to do because it's of its super frail like stature. Players like are able to put chip on it and the chip sticks around and the chip is important. Um, especially since most players invest in attack and speed. Um, so and there's no good, there is Regenerator Mineshaw, which that's its own breed of thing. Unfortunately, you're not immune to fake out so or intimidate, so you kind of aren't a good Incineroar counter that way. But if Incineroar drops in usage and inner focus doesn't become as needed, Regenerator Mineshaw is a thing you could do. Um, and a lot of the playing against Mineshaw is just learning the patterns. Um, I know best of one ladder probably is the best practice for it, but uh, getting practice against when my opponent is going to click wide guard, when my opponent is going to click coaching, when my opponent is going to go in for a damage with close combat and things like that just comes with practice and time mind shell being super frail and super fast it can be hard to interact with on most most occasions so just accurately reading what your mind opponent's mind shell is going to do for that given turn can be a huge advantage for you so what did we learned about mind shell today um having the wide set of tools that mind shell has and being in a real good speed tier it has the potential to become a superstar support for the Series 10 format as Incineroar looks to reign and be the king again. Um, and beyond just countering Incineroar, Mineshaw actually has the ability to answer a lot of different things that a lot of Series 10 teams are doing. The spread damage, uh, opposing fake out, uh, answering as a counter to intimidate, using coaching to get your boosts back up, U-turn, knockoff, faint, rock slide, all of those things. So Mineshaw can be a definitely powerhouse support if and when you need it. And with that being said, I want to thank everyone for hanging out and listening to me ramble about Mindshow today. Remember to check us out on Twitter. Handles are there on screen right now. Check out our Discord link down in the description below. Remember to do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment who you want to see me cover next week, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And with that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. We're out in the world, and we will see you all next week. Bye, guys.